Hello everyone, welcome to Journey with Shar on this lovely Friday evening. And I just come to you with a Dollar Tree haul and just a little bit of items from the 99 cent store. So let's start with that first. There we go. Okay, you guys, so, so let me show you this calendar again. So this is the calendar. So this is the llama or alpaca, whichever kind of camo family member this is, but that's what they look like. I thought these calendars were absolutely adorable. This is thanks, thankful for this day, which does remind you of like during Thanksgiving. So pretty, but we're thankful for each day that God gives us. So that's why I like that one. And this one is a beautiful little cottage and it's just black and white and it's got like little green flowers on it. It is so cute. So I got that one. I got this one. Which one do you want to, I'm going to open it up so you guys can see it right quick. What, how you use these. So stay tuned. All right, you all. So I pull everything out completely of, from the llama and we're going to place the llama back up at the top. So you all can see how you place that in. So these are the blocks with the numbers. Okay. And then this is December, September, October, and then there is November. So it seems like this is the fall, winter, mm -hmm. and then this is February, March, April, May, January, February, March, April, May, and then we have January, February, March, and we have May, June, July, three August. Quarters, three, quarters of the year. three quarters of the year, like mommy said. So what we're going to do is we want to put this two in. Okay, that two in like so. There is a two on this one because you know if you have 22, these are the months where you have double. Okay, so then today is the 26th. We're going to go ahead on stick that in there. So adorable. And then we're going to put in February because that's furthest away from us. We're going to stick in September because that will be the the next month after August. So right now we're in July. And we're just gonna stick July in like so. Is that not the cutest calendar ever? I absolutely love it. And this llama, I'm gonna say it again, was the last llama left. And I looked all around and I wondered why is it the last one? And it had a little glitch at the top, but child, it's no worries. It's still a beautiful little calendar. There were more of these each. So this one, they are all the same. You just um, you just you just chose a different look, but they're all made of plywood, and the blocks are completely wood. Okay, so that is the calendars. Aren't they adorable? Okay, the next calendar that we have here is the Bible verses calendar. Mommy picked this one out. Um, sorry for that light; she just turned the light on, but that we need that. All the months in this calendar, and we absolutely love it because. It's God's nature. It's his handprint. So yes, and this one's called Bible Verses. So we went ahead on, and this is a 2021, mm -hmm. 20, 2020 to 22 it says, includes 2022, it's a four month calendar. Next thing we got um, is these. Absolutely adorable. Look how cute that K is. Just so adorable. I'm gonna go back and see. They were, let me tell you, very scarce. They didn't have many of these, and I see why. It's very well built. It is so adorable. You would not think you got this from the Dollar Tree, and it's just perfect if you give this to, like, you're throwing a Thanksgiving, um, friend giving, or you're doing Thanksgiving this year. Perfect to find out each one of your guests' initials, their first name, have this at the head of their table setting, and then when they leave, they can take this with them. Can you see, a, like, a green garland around this, and this is just centered with, like, some gold leaves hanging out? Oh my gosh, just so pretty. So yes, this one's the K. I got the K because my name also includes a K. And so I got that. So, so pretty. All right, that was for 99 cents. Then we got this one. Absolutely love it because green is one of my favorite colors. And green and gold together is, I'm a sucker for. I just think it's so pretty. And it does remind you of fall. I love this because of the shape of the beautiful pumpkin. And then it just has the, the stamps of the leaves on there. You see that leaf? That leaf stamp is all the way around. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so we have that other one. Okay, the next thing we have here, um, I did get some yellow rice. 
I've heard of this rice. I heard it was pretty good. So I'm going to cook this today um, and uh, see how it tastes. But the Vigo rice, I heard it was really, really good. Saffron. We used to sell this at World Market. So I'm very familiar with this um, product. But the packaging is really pretty too as well. Got some A1 sauce here. Um, I do all kinds of things with A1 sauce, child. If she ain't putting it on steak, she's putting it. When she's mixing her burgers, she's adding a little bit to her burgers. I added just all kinds of things you can do with a1 steak sauce so good 99 cents then we got some miracle whip i absolutely love miracle whip miracle whip is perfect for when you're trying to cut calories mayonnaise is a little bit more fatty than miracle whip so yeah i get miracle whip just for that reason to cut calories how cute is this pug bag i'm done is this not the cutest? But this is perfect for bookstore. This is perfect for vegetables. You can take to a farmer's market, fill your vegetables in here. You could put bread, fresh bread in here. It's just a nice, light, little airy bag that you can take with you. And it was 99 cents, and I thought it was just so cute with this pug. So we got that. And then um, one of my friends um, from work gave me one of these. And I just wanted to share this with you guys. She gave me another one. And I wanted to share this with you. This thing is absolutely amazing. If you see this in your Dollar Tree, please get it. Um, you could take this to work or use it at home. But what I love about it, you can warm soups up in here. Noodles, soup, whatever that, that's chili, whatever you want. Even tea, coffee, whatever you want. You put that in, close that. It has a good snap. And you can put this in the microwave. And I'm telling you, this little thing is so handy. I absolutely love it. And I take it to work with me. And I wanted to share that product with you guys. Okay, next thing we have here are these awesome books. I'm not going to go through. Y'all, look at all the books that I've gotten from the Dollar Tree. Let me put these pumpkins over to a side. Look at all these books that I have gotten from the Dollar Tree. Please do not sleep on the Dollar Tree when it comes to books, okay? And little movies, all right? Let's do this really quick because I'm not gonna go through all this page by page. So we got the Girlfriend's Diet Burn More Calories on a Delicious Four Week Mediterranean Meal Plan. I love this because if you have some girlfriends and you guys are really good with motivating each other and encouraging each other and you just really feel good with, you know, because some girl people, some girlfriends, you got to, you know, some women are iffy. You know, they want to compare and compete. But if you have a genuine girlfriend that you guys are in there together to support each other, child, go get her this book and y'all sit down and look through this book and talk about it over the phone, talk about it through Zoom and support each other. That's what I love about this book. This is all about girlfriends supporting each other and encouraging each other. And it has recipes in here. All kinds, girlfriends, diet, food basket. I mean, it's just all kinds. It's a fantastic book. I don't want to bore you, but trust me. And it gives you like a week plan of meals that you can eat. Um, it has recipes in here. It's just a really cute book that includes recipes, that includes eating plans, that includes support, encouragement. So I just thought it was really cute. And I think the packaging, I mean, just the, the front of the book, the, the art of the book is really cute too. I love that. It's very, very cute. So yes, that one's The Girlfriend's Diet. And y'all online is $27.95 in Canada. US $25.95. I got this for 99 cents. Tell me that's not fantastic. Okay, the next thing we got, I got a Christmas holiday sing-along. I saw it and it's just in the mood, okay? I love Christmas music. It is my favorite time of year. And so these are all the little songs that are included in this little video. I have not heard it yet, but I'm sure it is delightful. Okay, so that's one. The next thing we have here is the pancake and waffles. I mean, come on. I saw this and bought it before and gave it to somebody. I said, why didn't I keep one? So I went ahead on and bought another one. And chow, yes, Lord, she got some good recipes in here. I'm just going to skim through this really quick. Skim or scan? It's, it's one of them, y'all. Really quick. Go through this book really quick for you. Just so you can get an idea. I'm not trying to go fast, but y'all just look at the pictures. And you can get an idea that this is a fantastic book. Look at that. All those waffles, chow. Come on. Look at that. So she's got savory dishes in here for waffles. And she's got, um, that's beer, bacon, pancakes. Wow. She even got some pancakes. So it's, it's an amazing little book. Pancakes and waffles. Okay, so we got that. 
Next thing we have here is my favorite because I'm a Southern girl. And this is Southern Favorites. Uh, tasty and hearty recipes. When you, Especially during the holidays, I say more so. Okay? No baked Mississippi mud pie. Y'all look at that. Look at that. Gonna try to do this where, look at this. Grilled peaches with ice cream. Chow, can y'all see that without the glare? Just give y'all idea. Banana pudding. Ooh, this is fried green tomatoes. Yes. These are collard greens. This is a really red beans and rice. Chow crab cakes. Yes, you get an idea. Shrimp and grits. You have a um a brunch. Girl, you can pick, fix something really nice. Our family's coming over during the holidays. Southern goulash. Yes. This is a really good cookbook. It's a paperback, but I thought the in recipes in here really did look authentic. All right, next thing we have here is another breakfast made simple. Y'all, I've been having burgers. This, um, uh, her, Judith A. Pierce, she has like a series of these little books. And um, I've been collecting them when I see them at the Dollar Tree. This is a frittata. Look at this one. This one is uh, quick cornbread, pancakes. This one's crepes. Can y'all see that? Y'all see my background. This is crepes. Look at that. Food uh, processor scones. Y'all look at this dish. Don't that just look amazing? Breakfast tacos. Next thing we have here. All I need to do see, is just see that teacup. And that was it. Vanilla and teacup. It is just a beautiful book on the outside. And then on the back, it's absolutely gorgeous. I knew right then and there, this is a book that you can find on Amazon. You can go to any of the bookstores online and you will find this book. However, I got it for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. So this, I love this book because it's very elegant. Um, she has a lot of beautiful, elegant dishes in here that you would challenge yourself. You know, when you want to make something really elegant, look at that. It's just beautiful. Her pictures, the, the pictures in the book, I love that. You get to see exactly what she's preparing. And then she has these beautiful desserts. The ice cream, that looked like that was a picture in the front. Um, yeah, just look at that. It's just gorgeous. Hot chocolate. It's just a beautiful book. It's really, really pretty. So... I wanted to show you all that. Look at the dish. Look at this dish right here. I just thought this was, I mean, that just looks amazing. Just look at that beautiful dish. And look at the dish itself. And then look at the dish. <laughs> all right. So I, that one was for 99 cents at the Dollar Tree. And then last but not least, I am collecting books for future grandchildren. My son is not married yet. No, we are praying for his wife. In the right time, God will bring her. And uh, he knows that. He loves the fact that his mother is collecting books for his future children. So anyway, this is one called Pipper's Secret Ingredient. And I thought it was just the cutest book. And it just shows this dog that's on a hunt for like um, recipes and wherever she goes. Hold on, I haven't really, I'm just gonna show you guys. It's a thick book, that's what I love about it. It's a thick book and it encourages children to travel, um, the love of food. Um, and then it has recipes in the back that you can do with your grandchildren. And she just travels all around and meets other dogs and they cook and they eat. So it's just the cutest little book. I mean, just look at the illustrations. I'm a sucker for illustrations. It's good for you to read books that are considered a higher, you would use for maybe a eight year old. Use it for a five or six year old. You never know, kids are like sponges. They learn a lot and reading, oh my gosh, is the best thing ever. It's just, it, reading saved me, I'm telling you, when I was a child. It was just my my imagination and reading, oh, I tell you, it, it did wonder. So, yes, this is a good one. And the artwork on it is really cute. And I just thought this was just fantastic, and I got it for $1. And then we got these um, patty paper squares. If you're making hamburgers, turkey burgers, salmon burgers, anything you want to separate like that, big chocolate chip cookies, um, pound cake, whatever you want to separate and freeze, I think these are perfect. They are uh, patty paper squares, and it's 100 sheets you get in here. And I cannot wait to use them, but you see all of the different ways that you can use these squares. So I was happy to see that they sold these.
needs at the Dollar Tree. That's why I said go to the Dollar Tree because you never ever know what you will run into. Next thing we got from the Dollar Tree that I was excited about seeing is this mesh bag. It's a mesh laundry bag that you could just, I'm thinking about just um, um, washing my summer blankets and then just fill them up and put them in that mesh and then put them away. Or I might put them in one of those air tights. But this is just really good just to um, put items away, just tie them up, put them away blankets uh sweaters or whatever it is you want to use it for but yes i love the mesh bags it's really good for dirty clothes too okay the next thing we have here this is from um 99 cent store you all you have seen this set before at the 99 cent store i remember thinking to myself why didn't i get another set of those before they went out because this was just for spring we're now in summer now they're going into fall child she went in that store the other day and she was searching could not find them went to the top shelf and i saw one of these sticking out like that and i said is that Child, she reached back there on the top shelf and was reaching, couldn't see what I was reaching for, but was grabbing. And two of these came out. So I was so happy to get two more of these beautiful plates. If you look at my lemon um, taste test, the lemon chest pie, you will see how these look. They're so pretty. And then I used, um, found two of these napkins. There were more left, but I wanted to be fair because probably somebody else looking for the same thing, child. So she did get two of these. And this is 20 napkins. These are so beautiful. And these are just gorgeous. And I think even if you use them for a brunch or for a tea party or just for yourself, child, they just make you smile. Look at that. How pretty that is and then i did find the cups i was so happy that i was able to find two of the cups these are um nine i think you get 12 cups you get 12 cups in here so i got 24 cups and i will be putting those away and using them next year unless i do a like a little tea party or something and then i saw these these are just adorable look how pretty that summer napkin is these were their summer napkins and this one was the one that stuck out to me now i don't know if you want to call that waterway fish scales clouds in the sky chow whatever isn't that beautiful this brand is called um luncheon napkins i think it's the momentum brands that's what they're called the momentum brand this brand is really good and i think that this is the same yeah, same company. They really do good with their napkins, y'all. Look how pretty those napkins are. I absolutely love them. Okay, and then we have this. Um, she has been really into wanting to garden. My, I guess what my grandfather, he used to have us garden with him, um, uh, pick vegetables and watermelon and fruits. My grandfather grew everything. Um, I'm telling you, he had a green thumb. His whole hands, but all 10 were green. And it has brought back memories and it seems like I am desiring to do that very thing right now. So I saw these. These are cute little bamboo planters that come with a tray. And look at the beautiful flowers that are on the outside of these planters. And then that one. And then that's the sunflower there. Uh, you would turn them all, of course, face around. And just plant whatever. I'm thinking about doing some basil, some mint, and who knows, something else that's an herb that I can use to cook. Because if I can just go to this, pull from it, you know, I'm happy. So anyway, and then I got my little garden gloves. Because she's going to put some dirt in there. You see that? All of these, these things right here, one, two, three, four. And then the napkins, I got all of these from the 99 cent store. Okay, the next thing she got today was this adorable little mirror, y'all. She is always needing a mirror. And sometimes you don't feel like getting up and you need a mirror if you're on the couch, you're doing something, you're looking at something, you're checking your face, making sure you don't have any um, acne breakout or whatever you choose to use. How cute is this mirror? Just look at the detail in that. So you can see how clear that mirror is. Look at that. I gotta wash it off. But honey, that is so clear, that little mirror. And I just love it. It's just so princessy and just so cute. And just a cute little mirror to keep on your nightstand at night or in your um, your, your um, uh, bathroom, wherever you choose. If you need to see the back of your head, honey, this is just too cute. Next thing we have here, speaking of all the beauty and hair and all that other stuff, I've showed these three things, four things. Okay, so I'm in the Dollar Tree and I go over to the hair section. I'm always in the hair section because one thing about the Dollar Tree, you never know what you'll find. And so I went over there today and I saw these cute little hair 
pieces hair fashion hair pieces whatever you want to call it and i said you have got to be kidding me how adorable i am a lover of pearls i think pearls are classic they never go out of style i got this cute little head band can you imagine this for the holidays um, wearing this um, just because you just want to feel pretty that day and wear some pearls going to church honey whatever look at that cute little pearl headband for one dollar and let me tell y'all I'm gonna say it again this was the very last one <laughs> these sold out quick okay and so you know right now when you go to Amazon or even if you see on your Instagram post, there's a lot of girls, they're using a lot of these barrettes on their hair. And this is what's hot right now. That's what's so funny that Dollar Tree is trying to stay up in the game by saying, hey, we can do it too. <laughs> we can stay in, 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 the, in the fashion. So how adorable are these two clips? Adorable hair clips that you can do put in your hair how pretty is that and so that's what that looks like in the back it's like a big um, clamp and then we're gonna put that to a side and then this one is this one this style is really hot right now and they're doing like a bunch of them on the side of the heads it's just really crazy but it looks pretty when it's done nicely look at this one only one dollar and it's a clip so very cute then I saw these I thought these were so adorable so this is the elastic and y'all look I'm a, I'm loving the little rose go that pretty uh, pink and look how they come tied together like they don't come untied that's all one piece and how adorable is that to put your hair in a ponytail or up in that cute honey these are so cute I wear these as a bracelet child this is just too cute that's just so adorable I just thought that was too cute okay so the next thing we have here these croutons Yes, y'all. They got the Texas Toast Croutons Garlic Butter. Now, I'm going to tell you a little secret what I do, and I'm sure some of y'all probably already do it as well. When she's making meatloaf, she will grind this up in her grinder, and I will add these fa flavored garlic and butter to my meatloaf, honey. And let me tell you, it is so good. So they have the garlic and butter, and then I got this one. This is the seasoned croutons. So they had those two at the Dollar Tree today and you know she's always checking the date to make sure that these are in and they go out in December so they will be eaten before December so we got those two okay next thing we have here I cannot believe it when I saw this I've been craving some pizza and you just don't want um the um thick pizza crust mommy doesn't like the real thick pizza crust and sometimes I'm feeling it sometimes I'm not depending on how it's made but anyway this is a very thin as you can see very thin pizza crust it says ready to top number one ultra thin pizza crust made with honey and it is used and needs to be used by 1228 y'all know I went through all of those things so I found the furthest date it's no GMO 85 milligrams of sodium and it's just a nice thin pizza crust I'm going to make mommy and me a pizza tonight and then I looked around and I said what they have the pizza crust surely they got some pizza sauce so yeah I saw this pantry essentials pizza sauce and it looked good from what I saw and then I looked at the ingredients sounds pretty good and yeah the ingredients I looked at the nutrition facts and then I looked at the ingredients and it sounded pretty good and I said you know what I mean I can't help but try it so I'm gonna try to see how this pizza sauce works and as you can see this one goes out on April 22nd 2022 so I'm gonna try this pizza sauce tonight to see how it works and then how it tastes and then I said to myself and then I said to myself child she gonna need some olives on that pizza so turned around and I've heard of bells and I've had bells before and went ahead on and bought these I'm gonna cut these up and put them on the pizza with some fresh tomatoes I use the sauce but I also like to cut up those fresh baby tomatoes and just slap them on there honey we gonna have a pizza night tonight only one though so not two only one so that is everything for this haul I hope you enjoyed it Dollar Tree a little bit of 99 cent store 
doing. So stay tuned, y'all. Bear with me working at home and getting things together. It's really hard. So I, I, she's a little dysfunctional right now when it comes to orderly, but she's going to get it together. She's going to get it together. But thank you so much for tuning in. And if this is your first time ever seeing my channel and you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. Also, please hit the notification bell. Every time I upload a new video, it will alert you. And also leave a comment below. Introduce yourself. I love to hear from you. I love meeting new family members and oldie but goodies. Thank you so much for your love, your support, your encouragement, and your kind words. I appreciate them every time I read them. And mommy says hello to you all, as well as Joshua. We thank you all so much for your love and support to my channel, Journey with Shar. I really do appreciate it. And you all stay safe. Remember, be kind and loving to one another. That's healthy. It's a healthier way to deal with things. Even if you don't agree, learn to be kind. Choose to be kind. Okay. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be blessed. And remember, trust God, keep him first, and he'll always lead you in the right direction. I'll see you soon. God bless. Bye-bye.